Hello people, it's Malika from Meek Speaks VIP and today, as you can tell, I've got a book. It's Harry Potter and the half Blood Prince. Today, I'm going to take you on a journey with this book and my cane to show you what obstacles I face in the simple task of delivering this beautiful book. Let's go. The deadly drains. That's a drain. Of course, my cane helped me pick it up. But without this beautiful thing, I wouldn't have found it and I probably would have died. So thanks to cane. I look down a lot and when I don't see something that's like right there in front of me, it's dangerous. So what I recommend is that you change the colour of a drain or any obstacle that's lying flat against the curb or pavement to make it brighter. Like I would imagine this to be white or at least have like a big black bit on it or something that stands out compared to a dark concrete because it will help a lot. The carcinogenic cracks. And look what we've got here. We've got this may just look like a simple path, but look, we've got bumpy paths. Kane, tell me, is that lethal for VIPs? Cracks are very deadly because as I'm walking, or a VIP is walking, they're scanning with the cane on the path. However, sometimes the cane can get caught on what I call cane bumps, aka the cracks. They get caught. The cane rises up and gets stuck, so the VIP is left with only one option, and that is to just slightly manoeuvre around the cane and sometimes get it hit themselves in the face with it. It is horrible because it can cause teeth to fall out, it can cause nose injuries, it can cause injuries that are very, 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 very dangerous. And that's how it happened to me many times. And that's why I want to do a protest. Smooth the curbs, smooth the paths. Please help us path owners, whoever you are, help us save the paths and help VIPs walk in peace. Mm -hmm. The lethal lamp posts. Oh look what I found. Isn't this my favourite thing? No, it's not. Okay, I've just got one thing to say about this. If you have a lamppost in the middle of a pavement path thingy, put some indicator on it, like a red stripe or a white stripe, just anything to make this lamppost stand up. You don't know about all the thousands of times that I've hit my poor little round head on lampposts. This is very deadly because, as I said before, it causes brain injuries, head injuries, face injuries, and more face injuries. The big drop curbs. Da, da, da. Okay, so this is one of my least favorite things. You see this car right here? And I know it's the end of the road, and I know that makes sense, but look at it. If I was walking with my chain like this, because I've had many times where I've nearly slipped onto the road or just wandered onto it when there's a car coming and it could have been fatal and I wouldn't be standing here today to show you. I'm no expert, but I do believe, like, in some roads, you see the stuff called blister pavement, which is like the bumpy things you feel under your feet. At least there should be some indicator to represent that there is a drop or a curve here, to let people with challenges know that there is something coming up that could be dangerous, like a road. Here is an example of another drop that is dangerous and deadly. It leads to a road, and I always, 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 always just fall down it and you know that feeling where you just drop down the step without realising it and you break your back open? Yeah, that happened to me and I've had it many times before. The Slaughterious Side Roads. Okay, so right here we've got a little side road. As you can tell, the main road going across the town is there, the dark bit. This, to me, looks like a drive through or driveway, whatever you want to call it. It's because it's a light colour and to me I always see light colours near houses, like over there there's like a little light bit near a house or the bit where the car's parked. It just looks light and even though there's a bit 
darker bit stretching between the two white patches it still doesn't help so i suggest that if you want to make roads make them dark and make pavements white or make driveways right white but don't make them confusing because it does not help let's take a minute to talk about something that is quite consistent throughout this little place inconsistency well as you can tell this part is dark you've got the person's driveway drive through and you and then as we walk past it the dark colour seems to have vanished okay that's a big problem because someone might think they're still walking in the driveway and then think oh that's a driveway i can't walk there they go onto the road and then that means that people will die and get squished the catastrophic cars like this are a big hassle for the RPUs and other people, for example with a wheelchair, physical challenges. Because how am I supposed to scan or a wheelchair supposed to drive through this little tiny gap? It's barely big enough for a human foot. So this is a big problem because I think there should be dedicated areas to park instead of obscuring the pedestrian pathway. Another one. Another car in the same pedestrian pathway problem parking issue. This is very bad because it stops my mobility and people with physical challenges moving around. And people just may think, oh, you can just squeeze your way through as I mentioned before. But look, it's not accessible. And I think people should just be equal and have rights and know what they're doing. Sees this or experiences this, they may feel that, like, oh, the world's just difficult for me, and it could just be the whole butterfly effect and chain of events. But I think just little things like this could really help change the way VIPs live and how life is made accessible for them. Well, here we are at the little book booth, here to bring my Harry Potter book. But don't you see how much of a little struggle as little cute VIPs have to face to get to one little single location? And that's why I believe that our roads must change for the better of people with physical challenges and make sure we have happy lives. So thanks for watching. Bye!